to the madness. Okay, so, oh my gosh, what happened this weekend? Well, let me tell you. Um, Saturday went good. I got a lot of stitching done. Um, I was able to finish all of the stitching I needed to stitch to be able to keep um, my heart is at Hogwarts in the car now. I don't have to take it out because now it just has the block stitching, the 100 blocks, which I already got to do one today, which I'm super excited about, but yesterday. So I stayed up till four o'clock in the morning, fell asleep for about an hour, and then I woke up with the worst uh, heartburn, acid weave, reflex, whatever you want to call it, I've ever had. I basically choked for about two hours. Finally was able to go back to sleep about 7.30. It was awful. Yesterday I sounded so bad, it sounded like I had a frog in my throat that I still didn't get out. My throat was so sore. And I, I knew it wasn't strep or I knew what it was. It was that acid reflex and the coughing and coughing and coughing. Um, so I slept until like two o'clock. Got up, took a shower right away. I'm trying to think of what I did. Took a shower right away, and then I got all comfy in my chair, got my stitching, and me and John were watching because we're re watching. Um, uh, oh, I miss. Oh, well. <laughs> I was trying to get on the expressway. But I must have been on the wrong road. This road doesn't take me to the expressway. I could have sworn the sign said to 94, but nope. So, oh, of course, now I'm going to start yawning. Um, we're re-watching CSI because we stopped. I don't know what season we stopped on. That was before I started recording, well, keeping a record of what episodes I leave off of on my shows, what season and episode. I have this awesome tracker on my phone. So anyways, um, we stopped watching it when Grissom and Sarah was, had an affair and then she left or he left. I can't even remember now. But it really made me mad how they were, how the show was going. And I'm like, you know what? I watched so many shows, I could give up on this one. Well, we just saw that they were bringing it back. And I'm like, oh my gosh, okay. We're going to watch it all over again, which that's the only thing about being old that is good. You can rewatch seasons of shows that you loved and they surprise you all over again because you forgot that's what happened. Now, when it's major things like, oh, we know that this character's going to die because they're a, a weekly character, you know, not the, because, you know, with all the crime ones, they have guest stars. It's not any of the guest stars. It's the main characters. And you're like, oh, I know he's going to die, which I don't remember anyone dying on CSI. So... CSI, right? CSI, yeah. Um, CIS? Oh my God. I'm telling you, when it comes to the letters, I I second guess myself and then I turn around and I'm like, oh, maybe that's it. Um, which drives Becca crazy. <laughs> okay, anyways, we watched... I think we only got two episodes in and the power went off. I'm like, are you kidding me? Oh my gosh. So for the power went off and thank God I had my um, tablet was fully charged and my lamp was fully charged. I'm like, okay, you know what? I'm just going to sit here and stitch with my light and my tablet. Um, the only thing that really sucked is it was raining outside. So I couldn't even go outside and stitch 
and have the light from outside because well it was worse than it is today I don't know if you guys can tell how gloomy and yucky it is it's gloomy and yucky yesterday was gloomy yucky and rainy so after that light died on me and after using Becca's power pack which me and Becca decided we really need to just have the power packs on charge all the time and when we take it off then put them back on because it would have been really nice to have more power packs charged we have them they just weren't charged <laughs> Becca was using her phone and DS and I was using my phone and the tablet and the light so it would have been really nice because we have like five power packs between the two of us so after that I'm like okay John will you come back and help me you know bobbinate my thread I have a whole system and I don't know if I showed you guys my whole system but I know I showed you my board that I cut my string on I loop it around and then I cut and it's the perfect size really it's just a tad longer than I would like but this is the length that Becca likes so I said whatever I'll go with that length because I can use that length now if anyone else saw it they'd be like oh my god Becky it's way too long you know what maybe too long for you but there are no rules in cross stitching it's only the ones you put on yourself and that's not the rule for me so I get really irritated when people are like oh you're not supposed to do that because who said who made that rule up it might not work for you it works for me yes sometimes I get a little knots in it but even when I use smaller threads I get knots in it so okay stepping off of my stove so my stove box my soapbox on that one. I just really hate when people tell me that I can't do something. It's like, yes, I can. Look, it works. It works for me. It might not work for you. And I'm sorry, but having it from my elbow to my hand, that short. And what I do is I do the loop method. And, you know, I only use 14 stitch. 14 count, not stitch. 14 count Ada. I love my Ada. So... Yeah, doing two strands with the loop method, um, I like my shit long. <laughs> Enough of that. So, um, I wanted to go back there because what I do is we cut the, we loop it around the board. Then we cut the strands and then I take a bobbin and I take, um, they're what you would usually use these for is if you were a company and you were addressing envelopes they're the address envelope stickers that you would slap on your envelopes other people use them for everything anything else but that's usually what these this size is used for so and then I take that label and I cut it in half and then it wraps around the bobbin perfectly and then I write what the DMC code is on there. So, or number, not code. The DMC number, then I bobbinate it and, well, okay, I guess I should say first I take off because how it works when you do the length that I want, there's one piece that's just, mm, from your tip of your finger to your palm, it's that much longer. So I take that one piece and that's what I bobbinate. And then the rest goes on a floss drop. So that way, the whole point of me doing it this way is for multiple projects, I don't want to have to go out and buy a skein of 318. When a skein of 318 might actually go for three different projects because I don't need that much of it. Now trust me, the project I'm using now, I need five skeins of 318. Not 318, it's 815. I don't know why I keep saying 318. So anyways, but there's certain projects where you don't need as much floss. And I have it worked out too that 
this length of floss gives me, I want to say it was 70. five stitches give or take because you know I do go cross country too so that's going to take some of the floss away but on average I think on average I said 70 stitches because of my cross country um how I like to the backs of my projects are not beautiful and I don't care because once again there are no rules you might have rules that you stick to but my rules is I don't care what my backs look like because once I um, get them framed and stuff, you can't see it, and I don't care. Um, there's tricks around that. Anyways, um, and for a full coverage, who cares? Which I'm finding a lot of mine are full coverage. Anyways, so... When I look at a project and it says, you know, how many stitches, because I love in Pattern Keeper, it tells you the number of stitches that you have, then I divide that by 70, and then I'm, I get the number of how many cut pieces of floss I need for that project. So then I can go into my drawers, get the floss drop, floss drop, thread drop of floss, and count out that many strands and then bobbinate that and it's good to go and now all my floss isn't just sitting in one project when it could be sitting in five projects. I hope that makes sense. But anyways, John's like, yeah, sure, I'll help you do that. We go back there. I can't find the folder of all of the stickers I cut to fit on the bobbins. So I spent about 20 minutes doing that, and it was very yucky out, cloudy. The sun wasn't even perking out like it's trying to perk out here. So the back room, even though it's full of windows, wasn't lighting up very well because it was like no light outside, just that dim. So I never found the folder. I'm like, okay, well, you know what? We could just cut it and then we can just thread drop and then later on I can go back and bobbinate. And then I started doing that and I'm like, no, I can't handle these long pieces on the thread drop that is supposed to be on the bobbin. And I was like, no, I can't. And my anxiety was like going through the roof. I couldn't see what I was trying to do and John was so willing to help and I had a helper back there and we couldn't do anything and I was just like I was I yeah I was mentally fried so I'm like you know what just forget it I said let's just go up front because it was lighter up front but it wasn't any much lighter you know I'm like just, let's just go chill out up front and so I was sitting there and the thing is that John was up at I think he said 7 o'clock this morning he had been smoking a pork roast pork loin roast all day long every 30 minutes he'd go spritz it with apple juice check on the flame and everything you know the smoke and so he comes out and he's like okay so I'll throw some corn on the smoker and I'm like okay he, I go but what else are we going to do because I'm sorry I'm a person that needs a carb, a meat and a vegetable I cannot just eat meat and vegetables I need a noodle or I need a starch basically to go with it yes that's why I keep this lovely figure here that I have you know that's how I keep it, not whatever. So, he was trying his hardest, and I was just, like, snapping at him. And then he walked, he went to go check the smoker. When he came back in, I said, John, I am very sorry for snapping at you. I realize I am snapping at you, but you don't understand. My anxiety is, like, through the roof. I can't handle this. 
this is my day off to do shit and now I'm just sitting here and I can't do shit, you know? And he's like, I understand. He goes, um, he goes, why can't I make a noodle? And I'm like, cause I wanted, we were, we had planned on making angel hair pasta with it. And I'm like, how are you going to cook it, John? He goes, you do realize we have a gas stove. I'm like, oh my God, we have a gas stove. Yeah. So the only thing he has to do is he has to get a lighter to start it because, you know, the whole starting the click, 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 click is the electric, you know, he goes, I, I can cook. And I'm like, oh my God, we can have dinner. So we had dinner. Now, mind you, I want to say that the lights went out right before. Oh no, I'm wrong because Becca, yeah, I forgot all about this. Becca had a meeting with her class because this one class, she's in a freaking team, which I hate when she's in team, has to rely on a team, you know, I hate projects where it's a team. That's what I'm trying to say. Because no one ever does the amount of work that Becca puts into the project and it just pisses me off. She would always, in high school, get put with, you know, the slow kids or the, you know, the kids who don't turn in their work or whatever. And it's like, she would get C's and D's on projects because they didn't do their part or she would have to do it all. It was just ridiculous. So anyways, um, oh, I could have went, darn it. I wasn't paying attention. So she had a zoom meeting at four o'clock. We lost power at 4.11. <laughs> I'm like, oh, Becca, did you not, what did you do? And he's like, she goes, well, I got kicked out. And I'm like, well, just turn off your Wi-Fi on your phone. And why is my parking lot so freaking jammed? Um, you'll be able to go back in the Zoom. And she's like, well, I text the guys and they were just, they just gave up. I'm like... Why? She goes, because someone else lost power. I said, it wasn't statewide. It's just, and we found out it was just three streets in our area. And she's like, well, they're on military bases and blah, blah. I said, so you guys just using this excuse that you lost power not to have your class. That's fine. So, okay, let me get in here and then I'll come back out. Okay. So, um, we ate dinner. And that was probably six o'clock. So the power has been out for two hours. Oh, we found out the power was supposed to be on at 7.45. So by now, mine and Becca's phones are dying. I'm like, let's just go for a car ride. Well, cars again in my car. And because John hasn't done my tires yet, I had to go find a place to pump up my damn tire. So, I did that. Um, oh, my God. I keep forgetting that I can't go this way. Um, <clears throat> so, fix my tire. And we come home after we charge our phones up to, like, 75%. We drove around a little. And then we're like, well, let's just try to figure out, you know, how many streets are out you know, of electricity. So we did that. I thought it was only three streets. And then came back home. And the thing was, is it had stopped raining. The, there was no wind. There was no circulation of air anywhere. So that is what, I was getting claustrophobic is basically what was happening. Because even in the winter, I have ceiling fans going in every single room. In my room alone, I have three fans that go Turn right. all night, Turn left. all day long. Well, not the one that's by my head because I turn that one off right when I wake up. It's a box fan that I have that I have a table and then I have the fan there. And then on my dresser, I have one of those circulating fans and then we have the ceiling fan. So the circulating fan and the ceiling fan is on 24 seven. 
So, I like, and my room is the only room that has two windows in it, in the house. I really hate my house and windows because the front room has only one window that's behind my chair that is basically blocked by the house next door so no air ever like comes in and out of that window unless it's a really like breezy day and then once in a while you the curtain will move from the wind from the breeze but my front windows are um just glass windows you can't open or close them and then my front door is a glass door which I keep asking John will he please turn it into a screen door because I can't stand it there's no air flowing in my living room which he doesn't understand and because it doesn't affect him what does he care but when things affect him well then it has to be stopped right then and there and it has to be fixed it really pisses me off but anyways so my anxiety was like through the roof so we opened my windows and I'm laying there and I'm like the wind is not moving whatsoever and Becca's like it's not and I'm like I can't handle this well the only thing that saved me is I'm trying but how can I get over there um <laughs> I'm having a very frustrating time right now too this construction you can't go nowhere um, so <clears throat> it would start raining and it would rain for like five minutes and then it would stop. And I'm like, are you kidding me? Because at least with the rain going, I could concentrate on the, the noise that the rain was making. It was just so frustrating. So finally our phones were dead again. And I'm like, I'm going to sit in my car. Do you want to come with me? But this was to Becca. Oh, yeah. And then my, we're not even going to talk about John. John was pissing me off. He's sitting on the porch with a gun. I'm like, what is your problem? Do you think something's, someone's going to try to rob us because we have no power? It's, he's so paranoid now. It's ridiculous. And he saw how pissed off I was getting. So finally, he just brought the gun back inside. But I'm like, Really? It's three streets. It's not like the whole city of Warren is out of power. Or the whole city of East Point. Because we're only two streets away from the East Point border. So when you when you tell someone you live at um, Gratiot and Topher, they're like, oh, that's East Point. It's like, well, no, we live in Warren, but we're two streets away from the border. And you walk to the end of my street and you're in Detroit. So, yeah, I'm just on a border of everything. <laughs> okay, can I go? It's my turn. It's my turn. It's my turn. So, yeah. So, finally, Becca's like, well, do you want me to turn my noise up on my game? And I'm like, yes, please. I need something to concentrate on. And, oh, wait, okay, so... We got our phones up to 75% again, and then we came in the house. And she's like, do you want me to put the noise on? I'm like, yeah. And I said, you know what? And I'm putting, because I have um, a noisemaker on my phone. I can't sleep without the white noise. And I actually have a box that does the white noise. It's a sound machine box. Um, so I put my white noise on, on my phone. I said, but you got to do me a favor set an alarm on your phone for 11 o'clock and if the power's not on by 11 o'clock then you need to take my phone out to the car and charge it till it's 75 percent again and she's like okay no problem well the i think she told me that the power came back on because i fell asleep and i woke up because the neighbor across the street was texting me telling me, you know, the new updates. And then she texted me saying that her lights just flickered while I was asleep. Which I didn't get those messages until this morning because I slept through them. 
or no, I did wake up at one point and say thank you. I don't remember. I was like out of it. All I remember is, oh yeah, because she woke me up. That's right. But she texted me again. I think. I don't know. Anyway. Oh, yawning. Um, so, I remember when the lights came on because my bedroom light and the bathroom light were on so I woke up right away because you know it's lights please tell me it's not here what's the address this church isn't open 30038 bet you it's the church are you kidding me What is the address for the church? It's definitely the church. Let me go see if the church is opened. It's probably not. Hmm. Trying to see if I can find an address. It said 30038, and that's 30061. So it's got to be the church. Hate wasting my time. doesn't say that it's a church delivery. I wish I could find the address of this place. I didn't even put it on the mailbox. Okay, hold on. Let me figure this out. Okay, yeah, it was the address. They had 30038. It was really 30083. So she got her package. Yay! telling you the littlest things throw me off now can't stand it okay we gotta get to our next address first okay here we go um yeah so the lights came on I want to say Becca said it was like 10 30 it was in between 10 and 10 30 I can't remember exactly when and she was like, so far for 945. <laughs> I'm like, I, once I, what are you doing, dude? At 700 feet, turn right. My gosh, she was driving in the middle of the street. Um, yeah, so the lights came on and I said, can you just turn on the fan? Well, we had the fan in the, the window because the one window is broke in my room where it doesn't stay up unless you put a piece of wood in it and John couldn't find a piece of wood for it and I'm like you know what when I was growing up we used to put our fans in the window our box fans in the window because we didn't have air conditioning so I knew the fan would fit in there and keep it open so that's what we did and then I had it the fan where Becca was and I had the window straight you know it was able if there was any breeze whatsoever that was getting through, it was coming straight on me and not having to go through a fan, if that makes sense. So, she took the fan out of the window, she plugged it in, and the next thing I know, I woke up at 6 o'clock this morning. I was like, you know what? The lights were on and everything, I was happy. So, I just got ready for work and went to work basically right when they opened, did my paperwork, and started my day. So I was watching, oh, I forgot to tell you this, on Saturday, um, I'm super excited. Um, one of the girls that I'm in the stitchy groups with, in the um, Stitching Dead and... Good. 
I'm sorry. Stitching trail. Um, she saw my last vlog and she contacted me and said that we need to go to, um, she's in Saginaw, Michigan. And she said we need to go to Saginaw because there's a train place for John. And then there's an LNS that me and her can go to. And then we can meet the boys up for dinner or lunch, you know, depending on what time it is. And I'm like super excited because first I get to meet someone that I've been talking to, which is amazing. I'm like, I can't even put words into this guy is staring at me. Hi! <laughs> Waved at him. Could you tell he was staring at me? You probably can. Um, I'm sorry, but people staring. In this day and age, how so many cars have um, Bluetooth, which that's what I'm doing right now. I'm Bluetoothing you through my car. Why are people going to stare? I'm having a conversation. You just can't see the person. Anyway, sorry. That really drives me up a wall. It's like, what do you care who I'm talking to? Especially these days with cell phones. Whatever. Um, yeah, so I'm super excited. That would be amazing. I get to go to an LNS. Um, and I've heard of this LNS before, too. So, because when... Um, I think it was right when the pandemic started I joined a group that was Mich Michigan cross stitchers and I'm like where what's the local um, LNS that you know ships you know couldn't think of the words because my LNS closed because of COVID it was a teeny little LNS I wouldn't even call it an LNS but it was but they didn't have like, I've seen some of your guys' LNSs, and it's like, oh my gosh. I have Lobby of Hobbs, Joann's, and Michael's, basically. I went to that one LNS one time, and that was when I first started. So, and you got to remember, I'm coming from... 20 years ago I cross stitched 20 years ago you went to Michael's and got all your stuff they used to have a whole aisle with just patterns for cross stitch books all the things that's where you went is you went to Michael's to get cross stitching supplies well I can't say there weren't LNS's back then but there were none around us. We never heard of any LNS. Fancy floss? What the hell was that? You only use DMC. So, when I started cross stitching again in December of 2019, um, I think it was. January? Oh God, that's right. Yes, because oh my gosh, trying to find an LNS a week before Christmas. Oh my God, that was a trip. Me and Becca, because we, you know, went in Google and said, find a local LNS by us or Needlepoint store. Oh my God, the places that I was, I went to. This one place, it was in Gross Point. All they do is painted canvas. And it's called something else. It's not called cross stitch. They did have amazing um, flosses, which back then I didn't know. That's, you know, the word silks. I was still only using um, DMC, which I still am basically. I just finally put my tippy toe into silks and it's the peacock and oh my God. <sighs> I love silks. If this how all silks are, it's like stitching with butter. It's it's so amazing. But anyways, um, so now that I know what an LNS or you know, no oh gosh, I hate this. Mm, I always feel like they're gonna run into me, especially the new people. If it's a new driver, they don't. And the trucking school's right around here, so we have to deal with a lot of new truckers on the road um okay yeah I'm like 
all over the place today. So now that I know I have a little bit more knowledge of things, I can't wait to go to an LNS store and just, you know, spend a lot of money <laughs> on that lot of stuff. So, um, we got to work that out. Um, she said she went by the train place and they're still doing their summer hours where they're closed on Saturdays. But I'm at the point where <laughs> I'm super excited that I don't even care if we if John gets to go to the train store. I just want to go meet someone and go to an LNS because that would be freaking fabulous. So I was on a super high Saturday about that. And then today I'm at work and I'm watching Floss too, and I'm watching Sammy J. Okay, I think, oh, it's up here more. Um, I thought that was my street and it wasn't telling me to turn because it's not my street. Um, so she talked about a retreat that's happening in December because me and Becca did not get on the waiting list for Pam and Steph's. I know it's not hers, but you know what I mean? The one that they always talk about in Ohio. I can't think of what it's called, but yeah, it's, it's there, but it's not there. I can't think of it. Anyways. She, t she mentioned a retreat that she's going to in December. It's December 3rd, 4th, and 5th. And I was like, oh, I'm probably not going to be able to go because it's Texas. And to drive to Texas, it's a 24-hour drive from where I live, which means you basically, it'll take you two days to get there because, I'm sorry, I'm the only driver. I can drive for a good 16 hours, but I'm going to have to stop and sleep and then finish it. So driving to Texas is always a two-day road trip just to get there. And how do I know? Because I have driven to Texas many a times. Um, a lot of times it was just being a passenger. Well, yeah. Most of the times it was just being a passenger. Every summer I went to Texas um, to be with my grandparents while my mom and dad worked. So when I was out of school, I went to Texas until I was in third or fourth grade. I think third grade was the last year that we went down. And then by fourth grade, I was able to... Um, babysit my brother while my parents were at work. That's the only reason we went down in bed is because my parents couldn't afford a babysitter. But anyways. Um, so we would always drive. I think there was only a couple of times that we flew. Mostly what would happen is we would, I think my grandparents would come and pick us up. They would fly. No, they would drive to pick us up and then they would fly us back home. Um, yes, I have ridden on a plane by myself where the stewardess puts you in your seat and then, you know, once you get to that destination, then the stewardess helps you find your parents. This was the 70s, very early, early, early 80s before the world went scary, um, basically, when kids used to play outside and had to be in when the street lights happened, and God forbid, if you were not in before those street lights came on, then you were freaking grounded, and that sucked. Okay, we're getting close, three, three, two, seven, um, God, what was I talking about? I just went on, like, a tangent there. Two two one, or is that two two seven? It has to be two two seven because I think that's two two one. Two three three two seven. Okay, we're just gonna try this house. Yeah, so I'm super excited. So I called Johnny and I told Johnny. I said, hey, you know how I wanted to go to that? 
um, retreat in Ohio and I didn't make the waiting list or anything and he's like yeah I said well listen <laughs> forget that one there's this one I said do you mind if me and Becca go to it he's like yeah I don't care so I told him I said the only thing is it's Friday Saturday Sunday um, but worst case scenario if it's really busy I can do one run we could have our bags packed and then we just leave from work and he's like yeah or we could have this like we could just call in the other driver I said no there's no reason to call in the other driver I can work if it's busy he just doesn't want to work that's the whole thing if I'm not working then he doesn't want to work so finally told him you know we finally got that straightened out after me explaining three times no I will just work until you can handle it then I'll leave I said I want to leave no later than one o'clock I haven't even googled and see how far away it is I don't know if it's close to me Ohio or far away Ohio but anyways um so Oh gosh, this is really bumpy. Um, so I said, okay, well, let me get off of here because I gotta call Becca because if we share a room together, then it's only two hundred and eighty dollars, and I think that's really good. It's two hundred and eighty dollars that covers the room for two nights, um, two nights of meals and um. I think she said soda is included. Um, if not, who cares? I'll buy my own drinks. Um, and then there's the room is open Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I think it's only half a Sunday though. But okay, to be with your friends and stitching, and hopefully to meet some new people. You know, well of course the only one I know is gonna be Sammy there. You know. But it's going to be, like, really cool, I think. But if Becca didn't go with me, then it would be, um, like, $600, I think. Yeah, something like that. So, I called her. I said, listen, remember how we wanted to go to that one, um, and the other one is like, I forget how many people each weekend. I want to say it was either 300 or 600 people. I don't remember numbers, people. I want to say it was 300 and it would be 600 if both weekends because they weren't letting people go to both weekends. So it's a total of 600 people would be able to go to the retreat. I think that's how it worked out. So each weekend was 300. Well, this one, there's only 28 rooms. And if you double up, that's only like, what, let's say 60 people, and then you can get day passes for people who live in Ohio. So, it's got to be like 100 people at the retreat. So, Becca's better with smaller crowds, so how I feel, I think, I don't want to put those in words in her mouth. But I am pretty sure that Becca would be more comfortable with a smaller crowd than a larger crowd. So, I told her about it. She's like, yeah. Right. I said, and you don't have a problem paying your own way, right? And she's like, yeah, I'll pay my own way. She was going to pay her own way with the other retreat. Because I don't feel comfortable paying for her and then, okay, well... I didn't spend $280 on my son. That's my whole thing. And she's an adult. She can pay for her luxury. She has a savings account. And the reason she has the savings account is for stuff like this or emergencies. She's already bought her books for the semester, so she's good. Um, so, we did the registration. Um, I don't know if we're set sets. I don't know. I think so 
because Sammy put the video out, I want to say it was two days ago. I know it hasn't been a week. I know that for sure. I'm almost positive. <laughs> My brain. But I was still able to register. Um, they didn't take my money yet. I'll feel better once my money's taken out. But I hope they don't get confused. And I told Becca, I said, you know what? You need to, I gave her the link. I said, you need to go and do it yourself. And I did myself. And they're two different credit cards. Because I don't want someone to think, oh, they must have signed up, you know, by mistake. Because you got Rebecca and Becky. It's the only time that I regret naming her after me is stuff like this. When they ask you, oh, who's your roommate going to be? Rebecca. <laughs> it's like, she is my daughter. She's a separate person from me. <laughs> so, I don't know. But she was funny. She called me. She goes, um, which room did you pick? Because there was like four different, um, categories. It was like standard, double, standard, single, deluxe, double, deluxe, single. And I'm like, oh, stand, standard, double, because the deluxe meant that you got a refrigerator and a microwave in your room. I don't need that. I can go to the party store and buy pop and I'm not going to be microwaving anything. If I don't like what they serve at dinner, then me and Becca will find a Taco Bell. Because I, if it's like spaghetti one night, which I mean, I can't uh, blame them. That's an easy thing to feed a lot of people, you know, is spaghetti. But I had to be careful because of the whole onion thing, being allergic to it. So, if I can't eat what they're serving, well then me and Becca will just go get regular food for ourselves. You know, fast food. Order a pizza or something. Which I don't mind. Oh, well, I, they, I really didn't get to eat because they didn't serve anything that I can eat. I'm used to it, so it doesn't bother me. And Becca will, will, won't mind because I'll pay for her dinner if we had to go somewhere else. But, I mean, one night they got to serve like chicken, you know. Everyone can eat chicken. Or, that you know, that's one of the things that a lot of people will eat. I don't know how I'm trying to say that. So, anyways. Um, I'm just super excited. And I... I just like want to know did we get in which I haven't been home to check my emails and today because it is so cloudy like this which is very frustrating ever since I think it was about noon none of my I have at least six freaking voice chats on Instagram just pending because when I drive, me and Miss Coffee do voice chatting. Well, we do it even if I'm not driving. But um, we hear each other's voice. We don't text a lot. Now, there is sometimes we text because if she's on the phone with someone or, you know, there's just certain times we'll text. But I would say 75% of the time we do voice clips back and forth to each other. Which I love because it feels like you're actually talking to the person because you can hear in their tone of voice. You know, texting, there's sometimes you're like, ooh, is she mad or is she happy? Not saying Miss Coffee, anyone, Becca, I'll text and I'm like, ooh, is she in a good mood or in a bad mood? You know, because it's just how you interpret that text. So with the voice chatting, you know, she can tell when I'm super excited or super depressed or just being silly, you know. It's like you're talking to the phone, on the phone with them. So, yeah. I couldn't post on um, Facebook any of my stitching, which I only got 50 stitches done at work, so. Well, no, I got more than that. When I get home, I can finish off that 100 and then post them when I get home. 
because I only had to wait an hour in between. But I couldn't post my starting picture this morning, which made me very sad because the phone kept messing up. So, okay, that was my weekend. I know this is really long today. We're going to start yawning. Um, oh, I forgot to tell you guys this, too. Last night, because, you know, there's no power, so you can actually think because you're not concentrating on anything. Me and John decided John's going to take Becca to school just on the days where I would have to sit up there for six, seven hours. He will take her to school and then I will go and pick her up. Because it doesn't make sense to do that on the days where I only sit there for three hours. Because basically by the time I sit down, when I get home, I would sit down for 10 minutes and then have to leave and go pick her up. Makes no sense. So, he agreed. Oh, I can't stop yawning. So, which means I will get probably, I will only get that hundred stitches done today well maybe a little bit more so it's almost four o'clock now I have six more deliveries on me so I'm thinking I should be home no later than five o'clock well probably 5 30 if I'm gonna be honest with myself so no later than 5 30 and then um I need to eat dinner, finish up those hundred stitches, and at 7.30, I have to leave to go pick her up. And then I can already tell you, after driving for three hours, when I come home, I'm not going to feel like stitching. So, whatever stitching I get done from now until 7.30 is what I'll post. Which really sucks. I hate Mondays. Well, I hate this driving back into school crap. After working all day long. <sighs> but I love her, so I will do it. I can complain once in a while about it. I don't complain every single day about it, you know, every Monday. What they just said it was weird. Yeah, so I'm going to let you guys go. And um, if anything exciting happens tonight, I will try to remember to go on tomorrow. But tomorrow's when I have Becca as my buddy. She works with me on Tuesday. I cannot stop yawning. I need to wake up. Shoot, I might as well go home and take like a little nap. Because if I'm yawning now and not taking a nap, that drive, because it's going to be all night driving. Because it gets dark around 7 o'clock now, 6.30, 7 o'clock. Yeah, so. I am not a good night driver whatsoever so this is not going to be fun okay I'm going to be quiet I'm going to turn this off and yay good morning and welcome back <clears throat> it's only 748 here so yeah I had an early one and the sun's not even really up yet I mean it's perking up but it's not up up Okay, so, didn't get much stitching done. Um, Monday night. <clears throat> oh, I had a migraine. That's right. Um, John took Becca to school. And then, I got home. And then, like, ten minutes later, he got home. Which was ridiculous. I worked until, what was it, 5.30, 6 o'clock. Um, but I had a migraine, and I told, I told him, because I was on the phone 
with them when Becca got to school. And I was like, oh, Becca, show daddy where, you know, I pick you up because if I still have this headache, your father needs to come pick you up from school tonight because, first of all, I suck at night driving. Um, it's fine if I don't have traffic coming at me, but the headlights, like even right now, the headlights are bothering me. It's not dark, dark out here, but when I see the headlights, I see stars. The headlights are, you know, make a star. And it really messes up with me. Messes with me. Um, messes up. <laughs> yeah, it's early. Forgive me today with no words. Um, so he ended up, um, <laughs> he ended up going to get her after I threatened that I was going to go get her. Because he's like, oh, she said she doesn't get out till 910. I said, um, this is the class that lets out early sometimes. Sometimes she gets out at 830. And mind you, it's 750. I told him he needed to leave at 730 to go pick her up. And he's like, well, I think I need to go to the bathroom again. I'm like, fine, I'll go do it. He's like, no, I'll go do it. And he left right then and got her. And, of course, she did get out early, so she had to stand in the building waiting for him. But, um, I didn't get, I got maybe 300 stitches that day. I don't remember. I have it all written down. Oh, great. No. Okay, I thought that bus was going to stop. Um. <clears throat> yeah, so was Monday? No. Yes. What day did um Facebook and Instagram go down? Yeah, it was Monday. Oh my gosh, okay, I'm here. Let me load and then when I come out I'll tell you. Oh please. Dude, do you see my dirt signal? <coughs> like someone's here but then it doesn't look like someone's here I hope I have a key okay no one was at the store I thought there was for a second but those two cars um, they come to our store and then they all pile in a van and they go to headquarters so they don't all have to waste their gas so, the gray car pulled because I know the orange car that's every day. But the gray car threw me off. So I was thinking someone was there, but nope, no one was there. Which, it's 7.58. I don't know why no one's at the shop yet. <laughs> Thank God I have a key. Just for this reason. Okay, so, I took care of Monday night. Oh, but Monday, I'm watching Sammy J Stitches, and she talks about a retreat, and I registered, and then yesterday I found out that Becca actually got her money pulled out, and I didn't, and I'm like, oh no, is this one time that I'm going to regret, you know, naming my child after me, because what if this person thinks that, um... You know, I'm just an airhead and say that I'm Rebecca and Becky, you know, instead of, you know what I'm saying? It being two different people, just, oh, I registered twice, but used two different names. So I called them yesterday and they're like, oh no, we knew that you were two separate people. And for some reason, Becca registered after they fixed the problem where it wasn't charging. It was going to wait to charge, um when we checked in and I'm like no take my money now because I'm the type of person if you got my money then I'm in you know if you don't got my money well you could change your mind <laughs> which I know this is a deja vu moment oh my gosh um I felt like I've had ooh, um hello Mr. Truck I felt like I've had this conversation before with that bag on the side of the 
road over there, so it was like very deja vu -y. Um, which I, which I was about to say, I know they can always refund my money and then the deja vu happened. So, I'm super excited. I get to go to a retreat. It sounds like it's kind of a smaller retreat, which I think is good for my first retreat because, <laughs> just don't laugh, but I am very, very, very shy. And Becca is, okay, are you going to get over? Because, you know, I got people coming up my butt. Um, Becca is super shy. She's shyer than me. Now, once I know you, oh, I, I will talk your ear off. It's just that first, like, couple of hours, you know, the awkward conversation, the silence, you know, not conversations, but the awkward silence waiting to know what should you talk about. Oh my gosh, I don't like morning traffic on the expressway. These people are crazy. Um, oh, you can't even see. Look at the traffic. It's crazy. You guys are very blurry, too. I'm sorry about this. It's because of the light's not up yet. Like, that's crazy. Did you see him just cut in between those two trucks and had barely any... Yeah, that's crazy. Crazy, crazy. Oh my gosh, you guys. It's so blurry. Oh, I don't want to magnify. Is that why? Let me see. focus on that I don't know maybe when I get off the expressway it'll clear up we're getting off at the next ramp so just close your eyes or just just concentrate on your project I know you all do different projects or crafts Whoa. how about if I pay attention to the road and not the damn cell phone okay so anyways <clears throat> um so I was super excited and the lady's like, oh, just re-register. She goes, I know. She goes, I'm the only one doing this. So I'll see that you already registered. She goes, but we already got you two in a room and everything. I'm like, oh, cool. Okay. So I re-registered. So my money would be taken away because like I said, I'm the type that likes to pay. But first of all, I like to pay just so it's off my mind of list in my mind to pay, you know. When it comes to money, I'm like, just take it so I don't have to worry about it anymore, you know. That's why, <clears throat> okay, now. Oh, see, now it, now it's clear. Maybe it was just the expressway. Yeah. Okay. Um, so, oh, that's why all of my bills, I have I have so many banking accounts, it's ridiculous. Because I'm on each one of my kids' banking accounts. Um, which, no, I'm not a helicopter mom. They like it because, especially my son, if he's like, you know, a dollar short, mommy can just transfer over $5. And with Becca, she likes it because we share Amazon. And it's under her name. Because she gets the student discount. Hello? So, for Prime, um, so whenever I order something, I go right into the bank and I transfer the money over to her. But I have an account just for my bills. And every week, a certain amount gets put in there because I know how much my monthly bills are. And the first of the month, I have bill pay set up where it just pays all my bills. So... I don't have to worry and I have that set amount so I don't have to you know it's all where am I going shoot where am I going I feel like I'm going to Cantrell no I'm supposed to be going to a church I could have just went straight but I'm talking to you guys and see it's really blurry I think it's because the Sun's not up up yet and it's like, I don't know what to focus on. So, anyways, I'm super excited. It's December 3rd, 4th, and 5th. Um, I was very excited that I told Becca and she didn't hesitate. And then yesterday I'm like, you know, it made me feel really good that you didn't hesitate. She goes, uh, you need a stitchy buddy, don't you? And I'm like, yes, thank you. 
So, it's going to be fun. It's really going to be fun. Okay, it's 8.05. This church better be open. Since they requested that I am here before 8.30... church behind Wendy's. <laughs> oh, my neck is stiff today, too. I figured... Oh, gosh, potholes! Sorry, guys. Very potholy. St. Basil the Great. Okay. Another big bump. Oh, well, there's cars here. I don't know if that's for the school. Oh good, there's more cars. Yay. Apparently too, this is the place that the priest gave John a necklace of St. Michael, I think. The one for healing. I'm not Catholic, so I don't know these things. Um, that he wears every single day. So I told him that I was coming here to deliver. He was like, oh, that's where I got my necklace. He's like describing the priest to me. If you see him, tell him I still wear it and it's helping. I'm like, okay, Johnny. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, so they were open. But I figured I get up this early, I'm gonna treat myself to some McDonald's breakfast. So yay, and then I'm gonna go to the shop and I'm going to cross stitch. <clears throat> Not going in this McDonald's. This McDonald's is bleh. They sell off-brand Coke. So it tastes like there's nutmeg or something in their Coke. Oh, it's disgusting. So disgusting. Okay, so, um, what else? So then Tuesday night, yeah, last night... I didn't get home from work until late again. Um, and I think I, I got 500 stitches last night. Which helped. What helped that was yesterday morning. Okay, so. Not yesterday morning. Yeah, yesterday morning. Was that yesterday morning? Yeah, it was. Right. Okay. Um, did I go to bed? Oh, I went to bed early Monday because I had a migraine. That's right. So, I woke up yesterday almost two hours before I even had to go to work. And instead of just rolling over and going back to sleep, I'm like, no, you know what? I'm going to get up. I'm going to take my shower so that's out of the way. And then I'm going to cross stitch. So that's what I did yesterday morning. I cross stitched for an hour and a half yesterday. Before work. So then when I got home from work, I cross stitched for a little bit. Until 8.30 because um, with... Stitchagon Trail. I think that's how you pronounce it, too. I think so. Um, <laughs> you know, me and names, so. Oh, I can't believe how blurry you guys are. Ugh. Should I just wait till later? I mean, this is really blurry. It's because the sun's not up. It's that, yeah, it doesn't know what to focus on because of all the lights. Because once I get out of the lights and stopped, you guys focus right back. Hmm. Hopefully when I play it back, it's not bad. Um, so, anyways, with it being October in both the stitch, I just said it, now I can't remember what it's called. Stitchagon Trail? I think that's what it's called. And uh, Stitching Dead? Right? I think so. Um, <coughs> excuse me. 
they're having events for October. Stitching Dead, you have to stitch the maximum, unless you're in a haunted house, the maximum your team can stitch is a thousand stitches. And I think it's four of your teammates have to stitch each day. Even if it's just 14 stitches, you just have to stitch. Um, I'm pretty sure that's how it works. Or was that a different game? I don't remember. <laughs> I don't know. We're very good at communicating on the on our Facebook Messenger as, you know, because we're a team, just the five of us is in that Messenger. And we communicate very well. We say when we posted and how much we posted and both of my teams. Now, oh my gosh, my other team, I love, I love, love, love my, um, the trail, the Oregon, Oregon? No, not Oregon. Is it? Oh, God. Words, I'm telling you. Oh, my gosh. Anyways. The one where we're a family and we're on the trail. I love my family now. Oh, my gosh. And we communicate. And um, one thing that I love, love, love is before we go to a, like, we're we're doing miles and we're getting ready to go to, I think they're called Explorers. Um, it's not a trading post, but it's where we can get items from. I think they're Explorers. Um, we know who we're going to be going to. And as a group, we all make suggestions on what we should pick from there. And then we all vote. So when we actually arrive... We can say, okay, I'm stitching this. It, there's a list. There's actually a list. When you stitch it, you put a little thimble up there. It's a, not thimble, a spool of thread. And then when you've actually completed the stitches, then you put the little green check mark. It's just so organized, and I love it. Because you know me and organization. But the other thing is, it's not because. You know, we all have lives. We all work. Or we have kids that we take care of. Or, you know, we all have busy lives. So, sometimes, not all of us are online at the same time. And when you're trying to make a big decision, you don't want to make a big decision without everyone's vote. Or at least if there's four of us on there... And we get three yeses, well, majority wins, you know, so as long as we have three yeah, yays, then we go along, you know, we go with it. And there's some of us like me, I say, I, whatever the group wants, if I'm not around, my vote is yes, you know, <laughs> I, I'm always with whatever the majority wants, go for it because I'm not picky. The only thing is, I want to do every special event because why make special events if people aren't going to do the special events? The normal events will always be there. These special events are only so many days. So yes, let's do the special events because you always get something special. Right? Right. Um, yeah, so... No, there was a driving... Oh, that's a truck driver. I'm like, there's a driving school right there. It's a truck driver, like I said the other day. There's so many truck driving schools around here. Um, so, uh, am I going to have to get over? I drove this yesterday. This morning, I mean. No, I'm fine. Um, yeah, so... <clears throat> sorry, I am very froggy. My allergies are like kicking my booty. Uh, I don't know what I was just talking about. Oh, yeah, okay, the, so <coughs> with the trail one, with the family, that one goes from 9 o'clock at night to 9 o'clock at night. 
So, well, it's really 8 o'clock, but my time is 9 o'clock. So I have to know in my head, I say it's 9 o'clock because it's 9 o'clock. We all tried to post by 8.30. So, you know, there's no not getting your stitches in. So after 8.30 last night, I was like, I'm exhausted. I already knew that I had to be at work. I had to be up at 7 o'clock this morning to be at work by 8 o'clock, which I was actually, oh no, how am I supposed to get over there? My McDonald's is right there. Oh my gosh, where is the turnaround? I don't even know where the turnaround I can turn around at. Huh. You know what I'm really looking forward to? The nice ice cold pop. Coke. A fountain Coke. Okay, I think I can turn around right here, I think. Can I? I don't know. Is that? It looks like it. Yes, it is. Right? But there's a... Is there? Yes. Okay. <laughs> it looks like there's a... Can I? It didn't say not to. Okay, I think he sees me and he's waiting for me. Okay. Oh my God, that was a pain in the ass. Okay, so after 8.30 last night, it was like, I, I can't. I turned off all the lights and, which was good because then it kind of got me ready for bed and I was in bed by 11 o'clock last night. And um, me and Becca were watching CSI. And I'm like, Becca, can we go lay down and watch this? And she's like, yeah. And so we laid down and I think we finished that episode. And I think I was halfway through the next episode. I said, can I just go to sleep? And she's like, yeah. So I turned it off. She goes, I'm just going to stay in here and cuddle with you. Because she knows that I go to sleep very, um, I don't know, easier. I... I fall asleep faster and stay asleep if she <clears throat> lays down with me. So her and Toby slept with me and then I think it was only like a half an hour later and John came in there which he woke me up he scared me so yay no yay so that's basically all my updates I'm going to get my McDonald's. I'm going to go stitch in the car and yay. So, oh, they have that one cut off. Okay, guys, I will talk to you tomorrow. Well, good morning. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it is one foggy, foggy, foggy day today. I already went and did some deliveries. Um, so... Didn't get a lot done last night. This clip is going to be very short because there's really nothing to say. <laughs> um, it was another stressful day at work. I got home about 5 o'clock. Um, took about an hour and a half maybe nap. And I cross-stitched until I finished the pattern. <laughs> I am super excited. It looks so precious. Oh my God. I love it. Love it. Love it. So precious. I meant to say amazing and precious came out. I don't know why. You're precious. <laughs> but I was super excited. It only took 524 stitches to finish it off, which is kind of sad because I wanted to finish it off Monday and it took me till Wednesday to do it. But with work being so crazy, it's just like Monday night I had the headache. Tuesday night, I was just exhausted from work. But I did like, I want to say 300 stitches every day. And then yesterday was the 524. And then Becca washed it and ironed it. I have it up on Instagram, but <clears throat> it was so late at night that there was no, it's all artificial light. And it does not take good pictures in artificial light. So it's not the true colors whatsoever, but oh my God, it looks so cool. So hopefully this weekend me and Becca will fully finish it. 
We have quite a few that we need to fully finish. So I'm hoping sometime this weekend we can just sit down and knock some out. Um, my goals today is hopefully to be done with work at a decent time. John is um, working with me today. He works with me today and tomorrow. So um, hopefully I haven't really looked at the screen. I just took all my funerals. So now I'm heading back to the shop to see what else I have. I know I have <clears throat> a nice little stack, but I don't know, like, am I going to Detroit today? Where am I going? Because I do not know. <coughs> My asthma is, like, really bad today because of all this fog. So that's great. But yeah, you're hanging out halfway in the street. <sighs> People make no sense. so foggy out here. It's ridiculous. Um, I think tonight, though, I'm going to start on um, seasonal tree and finish that off. Oh, I miss... See, now when I did my count, I forgot because I want to get done with the one I did last night. Peacock, Gilmore Girls, seasonal tree, and both of the temperatures, so that would be six. So, or five, right, would that be six? Yeah, that'd be six. So, one down, five more to go. Which I think that temperature funky one, I think I can finish that off. I don't remember how long it went to. It wasn't the whole year. So, maybe I can finish that sucker off. Okay, we are at the shop. Yes, it's still construction. I crash it. I think it will be until spring. Because they're just starting to tear up the middle part now. Okay, try not to hit the big bump. Okay, let's get in here and see what we got left. Okay, guys, I will talk to you tomorrow. Hello, I almost forgot. And it's Friday, so this is the last clip. I'm on my way home. Today was ugh, a bad day. We only had one designer, so, but she kicked ass, but yeah. Poor Sandy. <laughs> it was awful. Um, I didn't get much stitching done last night, but I did start my... Um, well, I did 700 stitches, so I guess that's good. Um, season tree, that's what I was like, I could see it, but I couldn't think of what it was called. So I'm loving it, and I think I have 81% of it done. So, yeah, that definitely will be a finish in October. Um, yeah, I'm super excited. But this weekend, I think I'm not going to stitch very much. I'm going to start pulling fabric and stuff for um, my January new starts. So, and I'm super excited. I now I get to go through all my patterns and see which ones I want to do. And thinking too, maybe I'll have a Thanksgiving start, a Christmas start, a oh, I could do a Christmas Eve start and a Christmas start. Um, I know I want to start 15 things in uh, January. Um, I will have more information on that. But, uh, we're going to celebrate some, oh my gosh, you're getting in my lane, dude. If you can't drive it, don't buy it. My God. Or should I say, don't hype it up so far that you can't see the freaking road. There's no reason a pickup truck should be hip up that far. Anywho. 
Um, don't know all the details yet, but we might be celebrating someone's birthday in January. So, pretty cool, pretty cool. I'm pretty excited. Um, yeah, just a lot of things going on in my head. Hopefully this weekend too, because, okay, so my team won. So the only required stitching I have to do this weekend is, of course, magical stitches. But it's kind of open-ended with magical stitches, so it doesn't matter. Um, and my family won last night, so we can't stitch until I'm pretty sure all the families win and then we start all over again. So, all I have is to help with the Stitching Dead Haunted House, and there's five of us, so I usually only get to stitch 200 for that one, which is fine. I don't, I'm not upset about it at all. It's kind of nice to have a relaxing October. The only thing is, with the... The family one, the wagon one, the days we could have been stitching, I couldn't stitch. Now the days that I could really stitch, we're not participating. So, I can't tell if these people are turning or going straight. And then, of course, they're going to walk on a non-walking, so I can't turn here. Oh my God, are you gonna stay or are you gonna walk? Thank you. When they can walk, they don't walk. When they can't, they can. Oh, I hate those walking signs too. Cause they never make sense. You would think that they would have it walking. No, no, it does make sense. Yeah, because it's walking when we can walk, when we can go. So, yeah, um, not going to get much stitching done this weekend, which is fine with me. I hate this time of day because all the kids are out. Like, that was high school kids walking, but now you got the elementary kids out that like to run in the street, <laughs> which I don't see a whole bunch of kids right now, so that's good. Oh, because the bus is up there. Maybe I can eat the bus. We don't have many kids on our street, so I don't have to worry about my street. It's just this busy street that really makes me nervous. Because people fly down here. And I worry about the little kitties. Okay, we are home, home, home. Oh. Stitch tonight, and then I'm probably gonna take. I'm only gonna stitch a little bit each morning and then work on some things. I really want to get some floss done, yeah. So, I will see you guys next week. I hope you have a great week and weekend, and I'll see you soon. Bye. Guys.